welcome to the Ms. Artastic YouTube channel and today it's gonna be another one of those epic, epic artistic adventures where like we just take two words and smush them together and see what happens and today, today's words are creepy and couch. Yeah, creepy couch. Mmm, doesn't that just bring a lovely little picture to your mind? A creepy couch. Ew. Like what is, ew. I just feel like it's like mushy and like squishy. Wet? Moldy? I don't know. I don't know, but we know what we're gonna draw. It. Yeah, we are! We're gonna draw a creepy couch. So grab something to draw with and something to color with and let's make a creepy couch. Yeah. This episode is brought to you by ArtasticKids.com. If you're a parent, guardian, homeschool family, or a classroom teacher looking for art lessons and resources, begin your journey by finding free art lessons, tips, advice, and more at ArtasticKids.com. All right, we're going to be drawing a creepy couch because... What's more creepy than a creepy couch? I don't know. I don't know. All right, here we go. Creepy couch. Let's start off with the armrests. So we're gonna draw one oval on one side, one, whoa, oval on the other. And remember, this is the Mizartastic YouTube channel where we make things up on the spot. Yeah, you know, just like that. All right, below, we're just gonna draw some rectangular shapes. Boom, boom, just like that. And in each rectangle, draw another rectangle for part of the frame. And then another line along the bottom for the armrests. Okay, below where the armrests start here, we're gonna draw another line. And then along the bottom, draw a little hole. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry guys, it's gotta be creepy. Okay. Above, well, actually on the top of each armrest in the middle, add a dot. Okay, draw a diagonal line. Whoa, that wasn't very matchy, was it? Okay, and connect them. Draw a line down the center. Okay, draw one, a part of the back on one side and, okay, I'm making it really like, weird on purpose because we want it to be creepy. One on the other side. Okay. We'll add the stitching. And maybe a button on each top. Okay, let's add some sort of weird patch on this side. And then here we're just gonna add like a creepy stain. I don't know what it is. Maybe there's like a stain over here as well. Maybe there's a big sewn up part along the top there. And over here, you can add whatever creepiness you want. Maybe there's some like fungus growing on it. So we'll add some fungus. Maybe it's been like sitting outside for a while. And so now there's like fungus on it. Ew. Maybe there's like a little tree growing. You know how like trees sometimes like will magically grow on like old things or on old trees even. Maybe you got like this like little tree that's like made its home on top of it. Yeah. Maybe there's a bug crawling up your creepy couch. And maybe this is a mouse hole. That's why I left it. So I'm gonna draw a diagonal line in there and then color in this part dark. And then maybe the mouse is like escaping. Draw a little mouse over here. And 
and it's not impressed this creepy couch. So we're gonna draw two straight lines. We're gonna draw a letter U below. But instead of pupils, we're gonna draw another curving line below that. And then we're gonna color in that curving line, leaving the rest of the eye nice and white and leaving it white. Between the eyes, draw a big curving line up and over. We're going to curve in the bottom of the mouth. Draw a tongue with just another curving line on the inside. And we'll give it two pointed teeth, because it's creepy. And then we'll color in the dark of the mouth, leaving just those teeth and that tongue nice and white. And once you're done, you are ready to color in your creepy couch using your favorite colors and whatever you want to color with. And once you're done coloring in your creepy couch, your creepy couch artwork is done. 